came over to YouTube from Google actually right after the acquisition. What was so great was YouTube was only a few years old at the time, actually 18 months old, and had about 65 people. But the scale they were already reaching was tremendous, uh, touching you know now what is hundreds of millions of people a week. My name is Kwon Young. I'm a product manager at YouTube. I worked on a bunch of things, most recently YouTube rentals. It's a really game-changing product because you know no one else in the industry has has made you know, offering a video for, for rental as easy as we have. We think we have a solution that scales really well, you know, all the way from your independent filmmaker to your major Hollywood studios. It's, it's so easy to get a video out there. We have a, a you know, fantastic, awesome, game-changing product there. Constantly innovating at YouTube, and we're constantly growing. And right now, we're doing a big push to recruit engineers to come work at YouTube to help us maintain uh, our position as the number one video site in the world and as the second most searched site behind Google in the world. Today, you're going to see where it takes place and the people behind a lot of the really important elements that make YouTube what it is. Uh, here we are in San Bruno. The uh, Google Food Service Program is pretty fun. I have a really good time uh, producing food. Here we do a daily uh, menu for about 300 people. We do hot breakfast and, uh, and a hot lunch. And occasionally we do dinner events as well. So, you know, if you were to find YouTube in the living room on a large screen TV, you know, what form would that take? And YouTube XL really gave us, give us the opportunity to experiment with, you know, different UI paradigms, you know, a different way of getting users from one video to the next, but still, you know, providing what is essentially a YouTube experience that's still familiar to everyone. So it was a great opportunity for, for, the, for the product team, for the engineers, uh, for the user experience designers to really come together and, and, and brainstorm and come up with something really creative and different. Now it is hundreds of millions of people a week um, who turn to YouTube to be entertained, educated, informed, um, and uh, to see things that sometimes are very familiar, you know, music videos that they're excited about, um, uh, videos from some of their favorite content creators, but also to experience all new types of um, content or, or places. Uh, one of the things that I love to do most is just look at videos that people are uploading from all across the world and what, what about their everyday life did they choose to, to show with the rest of the world. And it turns out that, you know, traffic on the 101 here is very similar to traffic, you know, in, in Delhi, in India. But if you don't get the chance to, to see it, um, you often don't know that. It's one thing to read about something, it's another thing to look at a picture, but video is really sort of the most immersive form of media. And uh, to be able to bring, I guess, what is now almost 24 hours of content uploaded to YouTube every minute, to bring that to a global audience is, is pretty spectacular. And it's what sort of gets us jazzed every day. I work with uh, my product managers, the engineering team, uh, the, the designers, basically a bunch of different teams to try to figure out uh, where YouTube should go and how we can uh, create new features that delight our users and solve, uh, solve problems that that users might be having with the uh, with the website today. So um, we succeed when our users are happier, uploading more video, watching more video, sharing more video.